Alrighty, before we get into the video here, I wanted to let you guys know that I've partnered up with BetUS, America's favorite sports book, to bring you guys an amazing sign-up offer. Click the link in my description, sign up using promo code NINERJ, deposit $100 into your account, and receive a 125% sign-up bonus. In other words, if you deposit $100, you're going to be receiving $125 back in playable money. Obviously, we have the conference championship games coming up this week, so that's going to be perfect for betting on. They also provide NBA betting, UFC betting, NCAA basketball betting. They also have an online casino as well. Click the link in my description. Again, that's promo code 9 or J. There's going to be a graphic up here on the screen. Take advantage of this offer before these games kick off on Sunday. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Alrighty, YouTube, Niner Empire, what is going down? Welcome back to another video here. So, the NFL Honors is coming up, of course, and finalists have been named for the awards. Um, so, starting off with MVP finalists, Brock Purdy and Christian McCaffrey both were named finalists for the MVP award. Now, obviously, I think everybody knows that Lamar is probably going to get it, Um Either way, though, still worth noting that two 49ers are in the final race to win the MVP. Uh, Brock Purdy really had the MVP on lock, um, but Christmas Day game, everybody knows what happened there. Brock Purdy kind of ruined his chances, um, you know, during that Christmas Day game. So obviously, I don't think Brock Purdy is going to win it over Lamar. Now, when it comes to Christian McCaffrey, I think he's been the best player in the NFL all season, without a doubt. Uh, but knowing that it's a quarterback award, it's going to be Lamar Jackson to get the MVP. Um, and rightfully so, like, I'm not taking anything away from Lamar Jackson. What he's been able to do this year uh, with putting up some of the numbers that he's put up, it's really hard to kind of debate um, anybody else in front of him for the MVP, especially, again, knowing that it's a quarterback-driven award. Um, but either way, again, worth noting that Brock Purdy and Christian McCaffrey are both finalists for the award. Um, just kind of shows how good they played this year and, um, and, and you know, how well they were all season long, how, how good they were playing and, and the su success that they had. Uh, but moving on to Offensive Player of the Year, this is the award that I think, without a doubt, is going to go to Christian McCaffrey. He has officially been named a finalist for this award. But again, nobody else I think has been better at a skill position for their team than Christian McCaffrey has been this year for the Niners. Um, I would be absolutely blown blown away if, if McCaffrey don't win this award. Um, again, I don't think there's anybody else in the league that has played at the level Christian McCaffrey has at his position and really just in general for his team. Um, so knowing that McCaffrey is a finalist for this award, again, I'd be absolutely shocked if somehow, some way, he didn't end up getting this award. Um, but again, I definitely think, you know, th there's a lot of good players in the league that, that are probably named finalists. But either way, Chris, this is Christian McCaffrey's award without a doubt. Again, I'd be shocked if he didn't win it. And then moving on to Coach of the Year, actually. Kyle Shanahan has been named a finalist for Coach of the Year. Interesting enough, Kyle Shanahan's never won Coach of the Year, not even in 2019 when he took the Niners to the Super Bowl. Um, I definitely think when it comes to a guy like Kyle Shanahan, you could very well give him this award every single year. But there's also guys like John Harbaugh and Andy Reid um, that could get this award. But in my opinion, this award is D'Amico Ryan's. What he was able to do this year with the rookie quarterback and C.J. Stroud getting to the playoffs when they were really not even expected to win probably more than five or six games. That may be even a high number to even say. Um, but the way they battled the entire year, how they won the AFC South, um, and then obviously not only getting to the playoffs, but knocking off a good Cleveland Browns team in the divisional or in the wild card round. This is D'Amico's award without a doubt. Although it is a little shocking that Kyle Shanahan's never won Coach of the Year, um, but it's really hard for me to say that he's going to win it this year knowing what D'Amico Ryans was able to accomplish. If it's anybody than D'Amico Ryans, uh, I think they got it wrong, to be honest. Again, I think you can give it to Kyle Shanahan, but knowing what 
you know, D'Amico was able to accomplish this year with, with that Texans team, with their rookie quarterback, and, um, you know, their defense played well when, you know, in games where it mattered most. They went on the road to Indy in a must-win situation to get in the playoffs and beat them. Um, so, again, I mean, I think without a doubt, D'Amico should win the Coach of the Year award. But, again, if you're not going to give it to D'Amico, easily Kyle Shanahan, maybe even Andy Reid or John Harbaugh, either of, the, either of those guys could win it. But to me, in my opinion, it's, it's, um, it's D'Amico Ryans. Another guy that I would probably throw in there would be um, Kevin Stefanski. What he was able to do with that Browns team this year, you know, beating top-tier teams, they beat the Niners, you know, they they clinched, uh, you know, a playoff berth with, with Joe Flacco as their quarterback. They used, like, three different quarterbacks this year with Deshaun Watson and, and P.J. Walker, Joe Flacco. I know I'm missing one more. Dorian Thompson-Robinson was the other guy. Um, so he could very well be in the mix as well to get Coach of the Year. I think Todd Bowles could be in the mix here. Um, but in my opinion, again, it's D'Amico Ryans for me. I don't think there was anybody else better coaching um, in the NFL this year. Uh, when it, Especially just given the circumstances, like I would imagine D'Amico Ryans is going to win it. But again, worth noting, Kyle Shanahan has been named a finalist. So just a quick recap, Brock Purdy, Christian McCaffrey, both MVP finalists. Um, Christian McCaffrey is an Offensive Player of the Year finalist. And then Kyle Shanahan is a finalist for the Coach of the Year award. So obviously, let me know who you guys think are going to win these awards um, in the comments down below. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, as always, go Niners. Again, Christian McCaffrey is your Offensive Player of the Year. If he's not, I don't, I'd completely be blown away. Um, again, I don't think there's anybody in the league that has been better at a skill position for their team this season than, than Christian McCaffrey has. So... Obviously, we'll we'll know real soon, um, you know, who's going to win these awards and things of that nature. But, uh, yeah, obviously worth noting a lot of 49ers names in those conversations. So that's always good to uh, that's always good to note. But, yeah, as always, go Niners and I'll see you guys in the next one.